Hi everyone, Bonita here with day 33 of our 33 days of manifestation. I hope that this has been a good experience for you, certainly for me and for Mariam. We've had um, a good time with spending moments each day in gratitude and seeing the bounty of goodness before us and inviting a greater bounty of goodness and joy and laughter and fun to come our way. And you see, this is not a virtual background. I'm actually here in a gorgeous tropical paradise. This was not something I tried to manifest, it was just something that wonderfully happened. And that's part of the fun of manifestation that you put yourself out there open to opportunities and then opportunities show up, not necessarily what you were looking for, but certainly things that fit with the ambiance you, that you are projecting and then delightfully you may receive. So um, I would like to share with you before we start our manifestation, how you can stay in touch with Mariam and me and our work. Of course, you can always look back and enjoy these videos again and again. And let me see. Here we go, and this is Mariam's YouTube channel, The Core Shift. She has, as you see, all sorts of wonderful videos here. I love them. They're all between like five and 12 minutes long. Absolutely worthwhile. Very, very inspirational. And here is Mariam's website, The Core Shift. Her YouTube channel and her website are both The Core Shift. Mariam, I will mention, is an amazing life coach. She, I've had sessions with her myself at times in my life when I'm a little stuck, and I've attended uh, her workshops. She really helps you, like, not just telling you what to do. She gives you the tools to become empowered to see your life path ahead of you and go, gives you the support to go forward step by step of your own volition. She is truly one of the best life coaches I have ever worked with in my life. And then my website, bonitawoods.org or .com, both take you there. Um, I teach classes online and I offer private sessions for past life readings or to see your life path ahead of you. Or um, as most of you know I channel the librarians of the Akashic Records. I can channel them and you can talk with them directly and ask whatever questions you have of them. My YouTube channel, Bonita Woods, which uh, I'm always looking for more subscribers. Uh, we put a, I put videos up there practically daily these days, at least three, four or five days a week. Some of them are very short and some are long. <laughs> and I try to keep them interesting and fun. At this moment, I have over 600 videos ranging from like two minutes to two hours. And if you go to my playlists, you can see that we have our supernatural paranormal. We have, um, oh, there we go. We have our manifestation playlists, which you will be very interested in. Um, there's some cooking because I'm a retired chef, spoon bending and telekinesis, and uh, channeled messages, past life readings, you know, guided meditations, all kinds of videos. My new venture, Paranormal Revolution, with Kim, who some of you know is teaching time bending and time manipulation classes. She and I are both psychic intuitives, and we... Uh, in our membership, it's only like $10 a month to join, and we offer a lot here. It's on patreon.com, Paranormal Revolution. Um, we interview amazing psychics and shamans and gurus and the like. We go out and we join with sacred ceremonies, you know, with permission to record what's going on. We go to haunted places. 
we look at what's the science behind some things or what's the metaphysics behind it. We like to explore why are things happening and is this what's best for everyone? Sometimes we help ghosts or spirits find their way to a better place. I have been known to give therapy to a spirit to help them <laughs> realize they don't need to be so toxic in this environment when they can be happier in another dimension and send them off. So this is a fun and interesting group that I hope uh, you might be interested in joining. On Anyone who joins now will get to join with us on a very exclusive private event on January 3rd where Kim and I and accompanied by other psychic mediums will actually talk with ghosts, answer your questions, share what is it like to exist from a ghost's perspective and um, see whatever it is that they would like us to share with them. So <laughs> thank you for being interested in us and our work. Let's do our final 33 days of manifestation guided meditation journey. And remember, you can go to my YouTube channel or Mariam's The Core Shift or Bonita Woods on YouTube to find all of our previous videos and, uh, you know, practice and enjoy. At this point, we have shared a variety of techniques. You may be more comfortable with some or exploring the possibility of others. But all of them, whether you are practicing a skill like spoon bending, because if you think, oh, this is impossible, I cannot possibly manifest for myself, I don't even know if I have the power. And then you're like bending a spoon with your hands with very little effort, you realize you are empowered. You have the ability. If you can bend a spoon, then certainly you can manifest something fun into your life. We've talked about the difference of manifesting something that's kind of meaningless, like, um, you know, a color or a bunch of laughter. Today, I want something that will really crack me up to happen to something that's really important to you. I really want to go on a great vacation. And look, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> but the reason you practice the, the things that are not meaningless in your real life is because that develops your skill and ability to then be emotionally neutral and comfortable with manifesting the things that do impact your life. We've manifested money. <laughs> I had $5,000 appear in my checking account <laughs> and I have not yet been able to replicate that, but we're working on it. And also here's the reminder, action really helps with the manifestation. You can manifest to your heart's contentment, but if you don't put a little action to your wishes, it makes it more difficult for the wishes to come true. I can have a spoon on the table and manifest that it's bending and it'll just sit there. When I pick it up and I send the energy into my hands with little to no effort, that spoon is malleable, soft, and it's twisting and turning, doing all kinds of cool things. Action. We all are familiar with um, the saying, God helps those who help themselves. And, you know, that can seem a little like mean and selfish, but when you think about it, it's not about help yourself to something and God's on your side. It's about manifestation, putting action to your dreams and wishes, right? Okay. So at this point, what I want you to do, give yourself a moment. <gasps> Catch your breath. Open yourself up to the grand, glorious, cosmic, multidimensional love of existence. Invite your crown chakra to open wide so you can receive bounty 
through the frequency of love. Anyone who wants to connect with you, anything below the frequency of love might have a little trouble because we're only inviting love to come in. And invite your body, your system to open and receive love and any who connect with you, your soul, angels, guides, the cosmos, invite their love and invite your root chakra to open wide so all of this goodness can come in and flow through and out and to emanate. If you're bringing in so much energy that you're getting a little vertigo or queasy, just invite it to flow out. And even with that, if you're getting too much, invite it to slow down. Hey, just a little bit. I don't need like the, you know, Niagara Falls of love coming in. <laughs> you know? um, find your comfort at the moment with how much you're receiving, how much you're flowing, how much you're just absorbing, how much you're emanating. <sighs> So you are receiving love, and this love is coming with guidance, with messages, with opportunities. Think about whatever it is that you would like to manifest. And let that nestle in your heart, anywhere in your being, that this wish naturally rests. And then ask. Ask those who love you, how are we going to make this happen? Here's what I want. You're here to help. How are we going to make this happen? I am ready to go forward with this. I am so excited. Let's do it. What advice, what suggestions do you have? Hear what they have to say. And you can chat with them about it. They're probably going to give you some level of action. It may be release self-doubt, or it may be call someone or do something. And now, I want you to go forward and take action. This action should be connected through the resonance of love. And even if you don't see how it directly supports the desire that you have shared, it may be putting you on the path for it. You may wish to do a little research before I take action. I'm going to go online and look this up. You might want to talk with your guides a bit. You might say, okay, so I'm going to just do one step forward, check in with you again. Then another step, check in with you again. Whatever is your comfort of putting action, receiving guidance, and going forward with your manifestation wish to become a reality. Thank you so much. I look forward to staying in contact with you. I hope that um, I see you on my future events, my future classes, and on our super fun paranormal revolution group. I know that Mariam looks forward to keeping in touch with you. Check out our website, see what we're all about. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.